Hello everyone! Imagine building a computer with your bare hands. Good thing we don't have to do that. We are here to look at the tools used to work both outside and inside our computer cases. We're going to start here with ESD safety. I have an anti-static wrist strap here, and also I have an anti-static mat. With the anti-static wrist strap, we put it around our wrist or our ankle so it contacts our skin. You can even tighten it. Now, there's an alligator clip that can attach to ground. Ground for us can be a computer case or ground on an outlet. The anti-static wrist strap alligator clip can also connect directly to our anti-static mat. And this will ground ourselves correctly with our workspace. Now, as we continue, sometimes you may find a computer that has not been touched or cleaned in what seems like a decade. For situations like this, we can use a cleaning tool such as a compressed air can. When you get into a computer and you find out that a lot of computers can be completely disgusting inside, canned air like this can help us clean out the CPU heatsink, the CPU fan, the GPU heatsink and fan, and doing so allows us to keep our devices running cool and without errors. So many problems with computers is because of heat issues, and a can of compressed air should always be in your toolkit. Let's continue with screwdrivers and magnetic tips. Commonly, the magnet will be weak enough to not affect the sensitive devices within your computer, but they are usually strong enough to assist in not losing and or hmm, retrieving screws. If you've ever dropped a screw into your computer case, you'll understand this frustrating game of retrieval. Now, some kits may come with a device like this, an extraction tool. Besides retrieving lost screws, we should talk about the most common type of screws in use. The most common type of screws are Phillips screws. The Phillips head screwdriver is what we should have in our toolkit for most of our work. Now, some computers might use Torx or flathead screws, so we should have those screwdrivers in our kit as well. While working on a computer, we'll eventually have to verify network connectivity. We should have some basic network connectivity verification tools in our kit to verify cabling, cable rating, and functionality. This cable tester can save you from experiencing a variety of headaches. If a cable is bad, we should have tools like these crimpers over here that allow us to both cut and terminate cable. An organized storage case works wonders while working both inside and outside a computer case. This holds true when you're removing screws from a variety of different adapter cards, drives, motherboard standoffs, and more. Keeping things organized using cases allows us to save a lot of headaches from occurring. Keeping organized is the top tool of the IT professional. Get comfortable using the tools in your toolkit. Build out your own toolkit now, but keep in mind, your kit will continue to grow and become customized based on your evolving skills as you become an IT professional.